It was the day of the grand signing ceremony. Lucy and the Chief Weevil. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Think it. Don't say it. Right. Go on. <laughs> A deal had been arranged. On this historic day, the seventh of Luciary, our noble brothers, the Weevils, have agreed to present unto me vast treasures. Ta-da! In exchange, we present unto the Weevils this limited edition keychain and this uniquely formed ball of lint. Ooh. Get your Misery Inc. catalog for availability. <laughs> My dad is totally skunking the Weevils. You go, Dad! Woohoo! <laughs> I also hereby give my son in marriage to the Princess Weevil. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> oh no! I'm his son! You mean I have to marry her? That's my son. Uh. Another son. That's a rock. <laughs> That's the girl. <laughs> no, no! And so it was decreed that the incredibly lovely Princess Weevil, whose beauty was surpassed by none, except perhaps her identical brother Tom. Anywho, the beauteous Princess Weevil would marry the brave and noble Beansy. Please <laughs> wait. Maybe she's not so bad. I can't spend the rest of my life with that! Um, that's a rock. Maybe you should talk to your dad. He'll understand. <laughs> and so, with great dignity... Young Beezy asked his father about the future. You're going to marry her. You have to, for the good of the family. A deal is a deal. I never break my word. The orphanage wants to know when you're going to send that food you promised them. Tell them you can't find me. I can't find him. Oh. You can't marry me to someone else. I already have a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't mind. My girlfriend may not mind me getting married, but I do. So long, Father. <laughs> Anyone here like Gruggly Ribs? Would our hero be done in by the tasty temptation of Gruggly Ribs? Possibly. <laughs> But I don't want to marry a Weevil. Look on the bright side. Maybe she doesn't want to marry a Beezy. Too frilly! Not frilly enough! Get these birds out of my face! I told you, for the wedding, I want to look better than good. I want to look not bad. Whoa, he scammed Lucius good. <laughs> it's worth all that stuff to get rid of her. Oh, but this lumpy one, is he going to, you know, pass the wedding tests? <laughs> I love pinatas! <laughs> Daddy! We make sure he passes. And so, according to the ancient book of Weevils, it was decreed that Beezy would have to pass the five impossible challenges. Challenge number one. My daughter Suda's gotta be strong and win in a battle hard and long. Let me at her. Not, not against my daughter. You battle against our mightiest warrior. <laughs> That cute. Beezy, I read in a fairy tale once. You let the other guy win, and then the princess can't marry you. <laughs> Got it. Let the brutal pinky battle commence. Stop faking 
idiot! I'm not! Hey, hey, I told you, the lumpy one's gotta win! <laughs> The groom to be is victorious! What happened? I tried to mail myself out of town. Not enough postage? Apparently, my package looks suspicious. Challenge number two goes like this. To win yon challenge once again, the suitor must be large of brain. Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> <sighs> I am so not going to win this one. Beezy, according to fairy tale lore, if you get this question wrong, you don't have to marry the bride. Okay, so this is what you do. Whatever he asks, say something random, like like chicken. What bird has feathers and says cluck cluck? Chicken! Booyah! <laughs> Did he say cluck cluck? Cluck cluck. <laughs> baga! Baga! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To prove yon love has a special spark, the suitor has to hit the mark. What? Worms live underground, why can't I? Fire! <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? He hit the mark! Fantastic! <laughs> You tried to flush yourself down the toilet? What? It's a hat. Sweet! Challenge four. Here's what I think. Make a choice that just don't stink. Two doors. Behind one, a hideous creature. Behind the other, my daughter. Which do you choose? According to the story, always choose the door on the left. No, right. Wait, 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 left. Oh, no, the book's upside down. Right! <laughs> Ah! Horrible! My eyes are melting! Uh. Wait! I choose the other door! Another victory! Ah! Ah! Ow! Still better than the other door. The final challenge well to win it. Eat what's under the lid in just one minute. Your minute begins now. <gasps> I'm doomed! Just don't eat for the next minute. You can do it. It's a piece of cake. Cake? I meant <laughs> easy as pie. Pie? <laughs> Come on, Beezy. You're tough as nails. Nails? Oh, sweet nails. <laughs> oh, 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 weevil aftertaste. Son-in-law. And so, the happy wedding day arrived, and Beezy was to marry the beauteous Princess Weevil. It was a day of great celebration. No, 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 no she's ugly. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> this is the point in the story where I'm rescued, right? When it comes to an abrupt end, I get my old life back, waiting for the happy ending. Hello? <laughs> Stop the wedding! Eloise, I knew you'd come through. Wait, this isn't the McPherson wedding. Never mind, go on. Uh. Oh, this oh, if only this cake wasn't so tasty. Anyone else? Need rescuing here. I now pronounce you Beezy and Weevil. No give backs. And so the princess and Beezy married, and they lived happily ever after. Actually, we didn't. Dear Daddy, I couldn't marry Beezy after all, for I am in love with Larry, our mighty warrior weevil. I said I want a fruit smoothie! Now! Beezy, your story does have a happy ending. You never married the princess after all. She tricked you. You married her brother, Tom. Uh, did you hear me? It's okay. Look what he made. So, I guess, Beezy lived happily ever after, after all. Oh, gross. No lizard feet. 
Where are the snail brains? This marriage is up! <laughs> A guy's gotta have standards. <laughs> <laughs>